Productions here, and today I'm going to be sort of doing an analysis video on why classic Thomas spooky episodes are the best at being spooky episodes. And yeah, since it's Halloween, I thought this video was actually quite appropriate for, you know, it being October and yeah. And we're going to be analyzing a couple of examples of Thomas Spooky episodes on how they are better than other Thomas Spooky episodes or even better, you're even better than other kids show Spooky episodes. So without further ado, let's get into the discussion. First point I'm going to be making here are the visuals of these episodes. So the visuals of these Spooky Thomas episodes are just simply unmatched. They really capture the vibe they're going for and that being very spooky and kind of creepy. And they just look so good. There are so many examples of really, really great sort of spooky sets in Thomas. The main examples I'm thinking of right now are Stephanie Gets Lost, Duncan Gets Spooked, Haunted Henry, there's just too many examples, especially season five. Season five really excelled in the spooky sets. And I love when they cover it up in fog. It just looks so cool. I love just the eeriness of all that. It's just, mm, I love these episodes visually. Why I think visuals are so important in spooky episodes and really any episode, it's so then you can dr grab the viewer's attention. When an episode is very bland visually, then the viewer starts to lose interest. But if it's very interesting visually and very cool looking visually, then it really grabs the viewer's attention. It really wants to make them watch more and more. And in a spooky episode, it's really important to get the viewer invested because to see how sort of the mystery plays out or how the character's actions or just how the episode unfolds. And it's really good to have your viewer engaged in that and i simply think that is why these episodes do so well visually because they can glue the audience to the screen by just how cool they look and get them invested in the story watching it unfold seeing what the characters do it's just simply why these episodes or one of the reasons why these episodes are so good the second point i'm going to make is the music. The music in these episodes goes so hard. Like, dang! The music in these episodes is genuinely so dang good. Like, they don't need to go this... Like, I am beyond shocked how good the music is. Mike O'Donnell and Junior Campbell put their all into this music, especially in the Ghost Train opening theme. That could actually come from a horror movie. And same with the Duncan Gets Spooked theme. Just simply, the music is so, so good. And it just conveys everything that's going on. And in these spooky episodes, they don't make sure for the episodes to look great. They need to make sure it sounds great. And the music really makes you just want to hear what the characters are doing and how the story is going. It just, mm, the music is the high point of these episodes for sure. It just, mm, I could just, just... Nuka's music is so good. I'll play a couple themes, for example, the Ghost Train theme. Duncan gets spooked theme. God 
Dang, I love spooky classic Thomas music. The third and final point I'm going to make here is how these episodes are written. How these episodes are written is also a highlight of these episodes. In spooky or Halloween episodes, it is important to write the episode as kind of either as ambiguous as possible if they're telling a ghost story or make it as tense as possible if there is no ghost story. See what I mean there? And I think the ghost stories that are told in Thomas are really, really good and actually genuinely feel actually scary. And to an extent, they feel scary. And the episodes or the events that unfold later in the episodes, most of them are left kind of ambiguous. And that's kind of what a lot of season five does. Season five definitely does a lot of ambiguous stuff and land and kind of ends episodes on ambiguous notes and I think that is good because it, it makes you play with tone a little more and it really makes you understand things better and uh, yeah I was just a really big fan of that and I think these episodes are genuinely well written they're not just boring it's not just oh yeah character tells a ghost story that's not even that scary and then pretends to be ghost and then other characters react to it and then other character gets scared back and it's just like it's so generic but i'm glad they didn't retread that same old storyline that's been done to death a million times in classic thomas at least in these seasons the only spooky thomas and friends episode that's in the classic series, aka seasons 1 through 7, in my opinion, that's a dud, is Percy and the Haunted Mine. And the reasons why I think this episode is a dud is because of how it handles Percy's character and just how kind of oblivious his driver and fireman are in the beginning. And just the episode being super boring, it doesn't feel literally that scary, and everything just is explained at the end of the episode and yeah it's just pretty easily a dud it's probably the only bad really spooky thomas episode in the first seven seasons so yeah i guess that's about it so let's wrap this up shall we so to conclude this video i firmly still believe that the classic Thomas spooky episodes, for the most part, with the exception of one dud, are really good. And for all the reasons mentioned in this video, now you know why I think that way. So if you have any takes about Thomas spooky episodes in the comments, then Feel free to drop them there. And uh, that's just about going to do it for this video. Hope you all have a good day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.